Oh, that was in the old days of a switchboard where you had a crank telephone that you wound the crank around until you got central, which was the, uh, and, and the, uh, often a lot of the, uh, of the small towns had uh, switchboards and some of them would be in the lady's kitchen, but she'd be the operator for that town and she was very respected and held a great deal of power. And um, so uh, it was um, quite interesting. I was in Camsack my first uh, year and a half before I transferred to Regina. And um, in Cam everybody knew everybody. And there were rural lines, so when the phone rang for Mrs. Jones, everybody on that line would listen to Mrs. Jones. <laughs> and so that's how, how we got a lot of our news. You know, and um, so it was, and when I went to, this would amuse people today, when I went to Regina as a newcomer, the first thing they do, you were, on, you were put on the shift for time, and people would phone into the telephone office for the time. And you would have to sit, and the, the station was behind a large switchboard, hot and airless, and you would sit there and you'd just say, 901, 901, 901, because people would phone in and you could even know you, you just did it when the light came on, you knew somebody was out there trying to get the time. And, um, but you just had to sit there and the number of times I remember falling asleep. And I think the shifts were quite long too. You had to stay awake.